I'd sort of been conditioned that textbooks are bad for teaching maths and it just lets children work through examples. Having had the training, I can see the endless possibilities and I see now it can be used effectively and how the teacher really does need to know the stuff, their knowledge for them to really work in the class. I think most people's impression of textbooks probably goes back to when they were at school and so when I first found out that Maths No Problem was taught through textbooks and workbooks I thought oh it's going to be very dry, you know they're going to be old, they're just going to be pages of sums and calculations but when you look at them they're really visual they're colourful, they show pictorial representations, they show a visual. So they really hook the children into what they're doing and they help them to understand the concept of what they're doing as well. The difference between just using a textbook and this is that this is something, it's, it's not just, just a textbook, it's been researched so thoroughly that there's no way that a teacher sitting on their own could come up with teaching mathematical concepts in this order because this has been thought out by people who are the ultimate professionals in it really and to me you can't really argue against that. It provides a consistency throughout the school from the earliest stages and foundation stage through to our uh, the, the top end of our school in year six uh, that we don't need a calculation policy. We don't need somebody to say to us, well, in, at level one you do this, and level two you do that, and level three they should all be doing this. Actually, what we do is what's developmentally appropriate for age and stage based on a really, really well thought out and well researched and evidence-based approach using the textbooks as kind of our, uh, our central piece of planning material. I think if you're a non-specialist maths teacher, the textbooks are really important because um, starting points for maths lessons to think up the anchor tasks are really difficult concepts and now having had the training I see how the examples in the textbooks have really been specifically chosen to support the children's conceptual understanding right from an early starting point to that difficult exit point so yeah I'm really positive about them now. For me it's that the fact that lots of the kind of key learning theories and stuff that have been around for a long long time are just synthesized in it all whereas you know, from my experience of working with student trainee teachers and people like that, one of the hardest things that they've always found is how do you how do you put this theory into practice? But with this, and you know, with kind of the approach that you need to take with this, it's there. All of it's there, synthesised. All the the main kind of characters, and that's the beauty of it. It's it's kind of already there. You don't have to think about how on earth does Bruner's theory of concrete pictorial abstract work. It it is there, structured already, and you just have to put that into practice. There is a a sophistication to the textbook itself, that the pictorial representations have been really carefully selected so that the children are not seeing the same thing over and over and over again. But the role that it plays in our school is, is also in variation. That the pictures in the books have slight variations from one to the next, maybe a slightly different color or a rounded edge that needs to be pointed out or that could be, a, that could be used for an advanced learner. So it also, it also provides a level of scaffold and differentiation. And I think that that's a really important piece of a textbook that we often, we often miss. It allows teachers time away from making those worksheets and trying to find those worksheets online. It gives them time to do the assessment, the feedback, the marking, all those things that are so much more important than spending an hour making a worksheet. Using a textbook uh, in real life, having a, a, a tangible piece to hold is actually a really powerful thing for young people. And I think that as, as, as a, an electronic age, we forget about that. We think that, well, we've got our tablets, we've got our iPads, we've got our e-books, uh, and, and that sorts out everything. We can just throw it up on the interactive whiteboard and, and life is much better that way. But actually there's a real power and there's research and evidence behind the fact that holding something in your hands and, and proximity to information um, is powerful. And I think a textbook provides that level as well.